here on Kasi TV. We're streaming to you live on our studios here in Usu. You can join us on our social media handles on Facebook and YouTube at Kasi Television. My name is Salinana Ikia. Abuadra. Let's begin with our first story where the Minister of Education, um, Yawase Edichum, has called upon educational institutions to resist um, their curricula, ensuring they align with the demands of the ever evolving artificial intelligence landscape, emphasizing the necessity of a curriculum that effectively prepares students to thrive in the era of the artificial intelligence revolution. The minister stress the need for a curriculum that effectively prepares students to strive in the current technological era. Prompted learning poverty. Uh, in 2015, only 2% of primary two students in Ghana could read to understand what they were reading. Only 2%. And last year, when we assessed students, it has grown to 38%. But I'm still not happy. It means 62% is not performing at the level that we want them to perform. Why am I relating this to AI? Artificial intelligence enables you to diagnose deficiencies in students' learning. There are a number of platforms where if a student uh, takes an exam or takes a, a diagnostic assessment, you'll be able to uh, predict where they will go if you do another one with serious intervention. But first of all, you need to be able to know what the deficiency is. And if you leave it to the human mind and to the teacher, it takes so long for you to know the deficiencies. But if you have artificial intelligence infused in assessment, then what happens is that it's able to predict, able to tell you, if you do this and you do well, still on educational stories, despite the resumption of school activities, some senior high schools have not been able to reconnect it by water provider owning to outstanding debt. Well, for the, the free SHS secretariat has cleared the areas for these affected schools. That you are part of this ministry. See, disabled access, everything is in there. This junior high school comes with biology, chemistry, physics lab, library everything is in there this is the junior high school system that will strengthen our education system and give us quality secondary education you move on from here begin to look at the fact that you're going to do something with equipped labs making sure our students will learn differently we talk about the 21st century we talk about the knowledge economy and this is uniform of public, public junior high school. I did the first model public junior high school in my constituency. I was able to use funds from the million dollar per constituency that the government promised in building a model school. And we are replicating this across the country. We come to the last year of the presidency of Nanado Dankwe Kufuado. As a political head, what we need to do is to work hard and use the time that we have this year very well. So when we go to Ghanaians and ask them for the opportunity to continue their work, Let's do stories in politics where the group affiliated with the National Democratic Congress in the northern region, Bewa Youth Group, has locked up the regional office of the party in protest over the detention of the vice chairman. While well, the northern regional vice chairman, Al Haji Bewa, was detained by the northern regional police command after he had honored the police invitation to assist in investigations. Huh? The communication officer for the world situation located in Tobi Hilltop. We are here today to express our dissatisfaction to NGC regional executives and the national executive for the mere misunderstanding that occurred between our vice chairman and the treasurer. We have seen series of misunderstandings in the party before, and we've never seen a situation whereby a chairman has been arrested or something. So we don't know why this one. We don't know. And Shemima, for instance, this is not the first time she's been causing problems in the party. Even if you can remember, just last week, a week ago, she caused a problem again that resulted in a fight between Azoka and one of our party patrons called Tia. I think if we want to continue counting, this will not be the. I think we can count countless the number of times that she has brought problems within the party. And we are not in reading here, we are not in this. And sometimes, if you are a female and you find yourself within a party, is it? Sometimes, no matter how you are, you don't want to 
prove yourself as if because she's not the only one in the party and she's not the only one who is a female executive. We have other female executives in the party, but why is it all the time? She's always the one. Shemima here, Shemima there. Anytime there's going to be any negative in the party in the region, Shemima is involved. Ask yourself why? Is she the only female in the party or is she the only woman in the party? No, no. Correct. So we are sending this signal to a national executive. We have seen our uh, what is called the national secretary release a, a, a statement indicating that they have seen what is happening in the north region and we are also waiting to see what the outcome will be should they make any mistake by saying they are going to either sanction or suspend alaji Dewa, then we let them know that tamale belongs to me the tamale and it's because we love the party that's why we are here there's no assurance that when the party comes to power, we are going to get anything. We have been in the party for a number of times. We have never gotten anything yet. We are in the party just because of the love we have for the party. So what they are doing, what they are doing, in fact, it is not going to be good for the party within the region. So we are giving them, by the close of the day, we want Alaji Tewa to release or else whatever that comes is not the best. We don't care. Whether the party is going to win or not, what we know is that Allah is our brother and he has suffered for this party. And even if we want to win, the, the, what Shemima has contributed to the party and what Allah has contributed to the party within the region, everyone here can testify that Allah has done more than any other party. Is it? Yes. 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 So we cannot, we cannot, we cannot use Shemima to exchange for Allah Yidua. And therefore, Allah Yidua, whether the party wants it or not, we are in support of Allah Yidua. Even though what, she, what, what happened, we were not calling for that, and it wasn't good. Certainly, but where Shemima is pushing us to, she's going to destroy the party within the region. And oh, certainly, it's not happening in the Oh, if Shemima is not talked to by the nationals, even the president, our former president, your mama himself, she talked to Shemima. Her behavior, her actions, is not going to let, yeah. it's not going to help our party within the region, even national. And from today onwards, we will let Shemima know that we were here before she came. And we will still be here and we We have the patience. And we are here. People can just come from any other place and become a regional executive of party. We don't have any problem with that. But as a woman, if you are living with men, especially within this as still in politics, the National Democratic Congress has initiated strategic steps to oust Afeyo Makin in the Efutu seat. Take a listen. By the men is that all the attempt to bribe them, they rejected them. And that is kudos to them. And we want to tell the other policemen who are home and their various places are prepared to go to work. Who are not part of Honorable Abna Osayasari are as follows. One, our MP is an experienced. We apologize for that inconvenience. There is some police personnel on patrol duties during the festive period have disclosed that they rejected bribes from civilians. Well, the revelation was made on Monday, January 15, 2024, at the police headquarters during a um, debriefing session of the police operations during the festive period. The Ghana Police Service was cited as one of the most corrupt institutions in the country, set by the United Nations Office of drugs and crime in 2021 by the men is that all the attempt to bribe them they rejected them and that is kudos to them and we want to tell the other policemen who are home and their various places are prepared to go to work who are not part of these galaxy stars they should take the example from these people that whatever they will be on duty they should also copy the same example and make sure that they reject anything give it to them and when we continue to do this i tell you a time will come when they start rating and it has already started that they are rating in terms of corruption ghana police they will never come at all so we are urging all of you what we have started and i'm telling you that never do anything for you it is a curse so don't receive it and shame those people
and some delegates of the new patriotic party but in the Ichuma East constituency are calling on the colleagues constituency and regional executives of the party to ensure that the member of parliament for the area who doubles as a um, deputy minister of finance Abena Osei Asari is re-elected as the party's parliamentary candidate for the area in the upcoming parliamentary primaries as follows one our MP is an experienced politician two she has performed well in the Nana Ado Dankwa led government and the evidence is there for all to see the first woman deputy finance minister who has done seven years and the youngest two that's marvelous three in the Parliament House we see her in the Median, especially on TV, on her sound arguments and debates on government policies and programs. Four, our MP is a winnable candidate and our best bet, due to the fact that the plight of Etiwa East is our MP's concern. Her commitment to us has no match. Honorable Abdul Sayasari, scholarship scheme and scholarship has seen many students studying in Ghana and abroad. Six, she has helped in the recruitment of many youth into desirable, and it's there for us to see all. Honorable Brown Sassari has built and also lobbied for schools, roads, clinics, hospitals, and many others. Lazo stories in health, where the Minister for Health, Honorable um, Kweku Ajeman Menu, has reiterated that Ghana aims to eliminate uh, malaria by 2028. While well, malaria kills one child every 30 seconds, which approximates about 3,000 children every day worldwide. Nearly 500,000 African children under the age of five die from this disease annually. of evidence-based interventions to combat malaria through the National Malaria Control Program and now the National Malaria Elimination Program. The control program, for instance, aimed to achieve the following goals by 2020. 100% of communities will have access to community-based treatment for uncomplicated malaria. 90% of caretakers and parents will be able to recognize early symptoms and signs of malaria. And three, 90% of children under five years of age with fever will receive an appropriate anti-malaria treatment within 24 hours. On the other hand, the National Malaria Elimination Program was established to reduce malaria morbidity and mortality rates by 75% by 2020 using 2012 as a baseline. Some of the key interventions and strategies implemented by the elimination program include distributing long-lasting insecticidal nets nationwide through health facilities communities and schools. Rolling out guidelines for malaria case management, malaria in pregnancy, laboratory diagnosis of malaria, and anti-malaria drug policy in all our regions. Conducting supervisory visits to public and private health facilities, monthly data reviews, routine data quality, quality audits, and monitoring of activities of epidemiological sentinel sites, indoor residual spraying in targeted districts. In 2000, we committed to the Abuja Declaration on ruling back malaria in Africa and the Millennium Development Goals, MDGs. And finally, in 2006, we also committed to malaria elimination in Africa. Distinguished, ladies and gentlemen, we have made significant progress in reducing the burden of malaria in the last decades. With smart investments, strong and enduring partnerships, a dedicated workforce, 
and effective leadership, we have reached millions with life-saving interventions. Malaria-related deaths at all ages reduced from 3,889 in the year 2008. And the Seventh-day Adventist Church is making a strong case for an amendment to the December 7th elections. Well, the church in separate petition first to the Electoral Commission says elections would have to be moved from the conventional December 7th because the date falls on Saturday, which will conflict with Sabbath, a holy day dedicated to the worship of God. The church says the first or the second Tuesday will be more convenient to promote inclusive democracy. To demonstrate our commitment to the Ghana market. Um, Ghana is a very important market. It's one of the fastest growing markets um, for us in sub-Saharan Africa. In We still apologizing for that inconvenience. Let's do some business stories where Madam Joyce Bawa, the special aide um, to the former president, John Germani Mahama, has asked the media to take up um, the challenge of fighting against pervasive corruption in Ghana by holding public officers accountable. She had treated the media to exercise their power of creating a forum for public discussion on critical national issues to influence public opinion. Concerns and experiences, allowing for the vast range of perspectives to be heard and witnessed. In recent times, for example, Ghana has been struggling with various societal problems. The media has played a crucial role in bringing these issues to light. One problem that has particularly emerged is the alarming rate and increase in unlawful small scale mining, commonly known as Ghana which has led to significant environmental damage in our communities. The media's role in highlighting these social issues demonstrates its ability to raise awareness, encourage dialogue, and mobilize for positive social change here in Ghana. Interbank payments and settlement systems, the National Payment System Infrastructure Provider has urged um, signed an agreement with Visa to begin domestic processing of CD denominated transactions. The deal with Visa, a global leader in digital payment, would allow um, GHIPSS to soon start switching, clearing and settling domestic Visa transactions between occurrence and issuers in Ghana. We've had with Gibbs over a period of time and to also demonstrate our commitment to the Ghana market. Um, Ghana is a very important market, it's one of the fastest growing markets um, for us in sub Saharan Africa. You know, what this partnership does is, like I said, you know, solidifies that commitment that we've placed in, put in, in uh, that we're putting on paper with, with Gibbs because you won't go and sign an agreement if you don't have a long term ambition, and that's just a confirmation of our long term ambition um, to play within this space, in the payments area in this space. And like Mr. Hachi said, he has, I think he has mentioned a lot of the, the value and the benefit both the, con both the market that is Ghana and individuals and as a bank will, would, would benefit from, from this partnership. So we're really excited about it and we know that it's going to open doors to, to bigger and better opportunities for us to partner. The contribution that we make and is also guided by, if you remember my comment earlier around the foundation of everything that we're doing is the um, guideline by, set by the Bank of Ghana and part of what the, that um, uh, guideline spe specifies is that services, specific services that relates to payments on domestic space should be done in local currency and we are committed to that. We already started work on that and that's the commitment I'm giving to you that we, that's what we are bringing to play to ensure that that demand you know, for FX for domestic transaction is reduced to the barest minimum. And Ghana will continue to play a major role in payment ecosystem. Well, this is according to Andrew Yubaboy. That our cost has been kept to a minimum, and there are instances where we do not increase our cost. It's always kept at the very minimum, and I'm sure the GAB can attest to that. Um, what uh, Samuel was uh, referring to was um, 